Okay, good eating, everybody. All right, let's get rolling. Hey, Elena, let's uh, let's go over what we're going to be releasing uh, in the room. Um, first of all, I won't be too long with you guys and gals uh, this evening. We will record it. Let me make sure Gerald is recording this. Let's go over what uh, I'm going to be adding to our indicator package. Um, over the years, we've been looking to uh, a lot of traders have been looking to backtest our signals uh, going forward, and, and uh, something that we um, we wanted to do is we wanted to bring that to our traders uh, when Ninja 8 was released. Um, we have the capability of doing multi back testing, uh, back testing, and also forward testing um, uh, my retracement methodology. So what we are going to be releasing uh, here to uh, the traders that lease our program and also the traders that view our program in the live room is uh, uh, for your own uh, own um, computer and own markets that you look at uh, this is based upon motive wave trading I do have a way to uh, sh show you and we'll do this in several conference calls this is one of several conference calls that we'll be doing uh, down the road uh, while we implement the system out to our traders uh, well, what I would like to do is is to have a series of conference calls every two weeks and I'm going to show you the way we're going to approach this to make sure we do our due diligence uh, releasing the software and the traders are doing their due diligence on knowing how to implement the software the correct way and back testing, forward testing, watching the signals and so on. So there shouldn't be a, an echo, Jules. Yeah, we should be. I mean, I have tall ceilings. Maybe that's it. That, that could be it. All right. So. so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go over tonight what we're going to add to our indicator package. We already have an indicator package out there uh, for you guys and gals, and that is um, what a lot of you members, long-term members have already. This is going to be an addition. This is basically for traders that don't know how to trade the system, but are it's hard for them to really find my momentum or my um, retracement setup uh, in the live charts because sometimes the market moves very fast in some of these markets and there's a lot of information flowing in front of you and what the algo does is sort of compresses that information for you and puts it in a layman's term uh, sort of say short or long case scenario that this is the right sweet spot for a possible high probability setup so that's going to be the first phase here's what we're going to do um, we're, we're actually going to be showing this in the live room next week on one of my time frames, longer time frames, and uh, for the entire week. For, so you traders that are new to the system, um, and you, you don't have to be necessarily members of the live room, but if you want to watch it trade live for the entire week next week, you can, and just uh, we'll just keep you, uh, you can just stay logged into this password. Gerald's not going to change it. And we're going to keep it running all next week, uh, Monday through Friday. Um, I will be showing uh, these charts uh, in the live room um, Monday, starting Monday, all the way to Friday, uh, 20, 30 in the morning until uh, um, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So you will not see any signals early hours in the morning. Is it capable of doing that? Yes, uh, which I'm going to get into. I made this. Uh, really neat where once you get this in your hands you can do anything with this I made it so it's very open-ended and I'm gonna go over that in a second so that's the first phase of this is what I'm gonna show you these this is the whole trading day for crude right here and this is uh, on both both charts and I'm gonna show you how this works in a minute but that's the first phase is we're gonna view it in the live room we're like I said we're gonna do our due diligence make sure you understand what this is about, how this can help traders locate high probability entries. At the same time, we want to make sure that you know why these signals are coming up, and we're going to have several conference calls over the next month on how we're going to do that. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me now, guys and gals? All right. Sorry. Yeah, we got some uh, bad weather coming through here, so um, we'll try to get through this. Joe, good. Go ahead and keep going on that. Are, are you good to go, bud? All right. So. See if Gerald's ready. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, sorry about that. You got to hang with us. We're getting some weather issues here. So 
what we're going to do is we are going to we're going to be going showing this live in the room now there are many time frame uh, there's different time frames this can work on so if you're a swing trader you can go to a longer time frame if you are a a trader that is more short term scalping trader this works also and I'm going to go over that in a second but that's that's what we're doing first we're we're going to view it in the live room on crude and gold okay so that being that's what we're going to be doing in the meantime over the next month or so, I will be sending these out on different markets, on how it's produced in other markets and so on, and uh, you guys will be able to see that. Why we're doing that, Gerald is going to be coding this, access to the algo, okay? A any trader that leases a program or regular charts, this is an add-on feature, we are going to be getting this out to you. It's not an additional charge. Um, this is just an additional way you can back test and forward test the methodology and you can back test for a whole year if you want ninja 8 is really good about that it will look at every single signal and you can put exactly what time you want to trade in my algo I've got it where you can start have a start time and you can have an end time it doesn't matter what market hours you're trading if you say you want to trade at 2 a.m. in the morning to 6 a.m. in the morning how many trades came up what's the percentage what's the drawdown what's the slippage, all that stuff. So this thing has a lot of bells and whistles to it that you can really, it's, it's, it's a really neat way for you to get into a market and find out right away how the system works with it. So we're going to be getting this out to traders. First, we're going to show it in the live room, and then Joe's going to start locking this thing down, and all members get this. It's the first, all members will get this first come, first serve, um, meaning um, we'll go from the uh, all current members. You'll get this first, and then you can back test any system. What we have when you have this, there will be no auto trader turned on to this. And let me explain why. We want to make sure that traders understand when they watch this forward test and back test and watch these live signals over the next month, month or so, is that they understand why it's generating signals, where the stops are. You know, you can literally with this system tell. Uh, uh, with the back testing and forward testing, you can say, hey, I want a two tick stop above the swing high, swing low. I want a 10 tick first target, a 200 tick second target, and then a 24 tick trail. And it'll tell you over the last year exactly how those parameters worked out with this much slippage. So, you know, that's going to be something that we've never had before and something that traders have always wanted. It's saying, hey, how's your system done with every single trade from 7:30 in the morning to 10:30 a.m. Whether it be copper or gold or crude, and this is something that's going to bring this to the next level. So that's the second order of business: is that we're going to get this out to the traders' hands, and the auto trade is going to be toggled off. You're not going to be able to. Uh, you're going to have every feature that the auto trade will have in it, except you cannot turn your live account onto it. That's the second step. The third step is once I get members that understand and the members that want to take it to the next level and they say, hey, I found the time frame I want. I found what back tested I want. My entry, I got my stop, I got my trail. It's working great. You know, I, I like it. I want to turn this thing on to an auto. That's the third step. We will have that available to turn on on the third phase. All right, but we're going to do this the right way. We're going to show it in the live room so you see the live signals first. And two, you're going to be good to go. And step two, will it alert you for the trades that take it? Yes, you can have it turned on. Uh, the thing about it is, here, I got to take this call real quick. And so, for instance, Steve, when, when, when one of these signals fire, and I'm going to show you what I like to do, when one of these signals fire, it's going to tell you. It's going to say, uh, you know, that we've had an entry here at 5678. You know, or uh, the, the the trail has stopped out, or a stop has been filled. So you're actually going to be an, it's an audible alert. You will know. Yes, you can turn your speaker up, and it lets you know right away. That's a great question. And if you guys have questions, good and, and like you like Steve did, good post them. I'll be glad to help you. All right. So that's the three phases that we're going to do. Step one: view in the live room. Now, step one: Do you have all the bells and whistles that you need with all these other different markets? No. You're just going to have a long-term chart that shows these buys and sells, and I'm going to show you the percentage accuracy, all that stuff. No, number two: This is where you really get involved in actually when you lease the program and you start working this on your own. What I wanted to do, and I've gotten a lot of things from a lot of traders over the years, hundreds and hundreds of different traders. They all want to know how 
well the system is back tested. How well, if I take this with slippage and all this, well, now you can do it. There's no longer a, well, is a system work through this type of market, or if this interest rates are this, or up or down, or all this. Now you got it. You have everything at your disposal. And I left it open-ended where you can change the number of your first target, your second target, your trail, the number of ticks above the swing high, swing low. You know, you basically can control how your risk parameters are. If you want to go larger swings in the market, you can do a longer Renko bar. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. If you want to go smaller swings in the market, go to a smaller Renko bar. You're taking less risk. And we'll go over that in a second. But I want to make sure we're clear on this. There's no reason to email Gerald about, uh, can I get the auto, can I get the auto? No one's going to get the auto, all right, until we go through one, two, three step. You're going to have this number two step process right away. And you're going to start seeing these live signals right away. You're going to know if you want to take take it to step three. And when when, when I first uh, uh, came upon auto trading with Strategy Runner, you know I learned so much about auto trading is that I know these steps are the right steps to take because you can see if you can if you can see live trades happening in front of you on your own system, and you can see consistently that you're back testing and forward testing and letting it run live and watch these signals go live. If you're comfortable with that, then then you can take it to the next to level three, and we will have that, have that available to you. Because guess what? I'm not going to say, listen, you have to trade uh, target one at eight ticks, target two, and then you have to trade this time frame in this market. No, because guess what's going to happen? You flood a market, and if everybody's going to trade the S&P in the same time frame, same targets, then this is not really going to work for anybody, right? So, you know, I'm I'm going to do this. This, this is going to be another approach that a lot of traders don't take. This is an educational piece of software for you to run with it as fast as you want to run with it or as slow as you want to run with it. And you can, once you get this on your own system, you're going to find out, you can play with it, find out what is you're comfortable with, and then once you see the live signals, then if you want to take step three, we'll take you to step three. All right, but this is not going to be where you're going to be emailing. This is one thing that I'll never go through again. Email me. What's your target one? What's your target two? What's your uh, uh, what's your risk tolerance? I don't. My risk tolerance is totally different than your risk tolerance. You know, so we're not telling you that you have to take this amount of risk. That's your own monies that you're dealing with. You know, we don't manage money. We are educators. This is an educational piece of software, and we're going to educate you how to use it, and then you can run with it slow and as fast as you want. And, and by doing step two before step three, you're going to understand why it takes what it takes. You know, why are they taking the trades? You're going to see all these live trades. And I'm telling you, it's going to be a great way to do it. First, we're going to view it in the live room on a larger time frame. Two, we're going to let you have it with your own system and say, hey, back test it all you want. Forward test it. Run the trades live on all these time frames. Look for yourself how accurate it is. Then three, we're going to step into that. Okay, are we on the same page before I move on? Everybody, everybody clear the process, what I'm going to do this with, how we're going to do it? Yeah, I'll go over that at the end, uh, Aiden. I'll go at the end. At the end. Are, are we clear? Guys, got any, any, anybody not understand the process, what we're going to be doing? Everybody clear? Because if you're not happy with step one and step two, you sure as heck don't want to go to step three, right? You know, so... I, I don't want to just say, hey, everybody, just, hey, here's the program. Go out and back test it. Good luck. It's not going to work that way. We're going to do this the right way. I mean, we have a lot of long-term members in the room that's been with us for years and years and years inside and outside the room. I mean, we got we got re members that don't even log in our trading room anymore. They just lease our software uh, every year, and some of you lease it three to four. We have one trader lease it almost five uh, five years at a time on one one lease. Just here, I want the next five years, the next four years, three years. So we have a lot of relationships out there. And I want to keep building relationships. And the way to build a relationship is do this the right way. We're going to view it. We're going to get it in your hands. We're going to turn the signals off so you cannot burn, burn yourself up. Because I know some traders, they'll want to put $3,000 in account. And they'll see it's 80% accurate or something. And they've never watched it trade live. or they, you know, And then all of a sudden you know, that they get burnt by it. We don't want to do that. We want to make sure we educate you how this thing can work. And then we'll go step one, step two, and then we'll go right into step three. Okay? Now let me show you how this thing works. 
just so we're clear, I want to make sure we're good to go. Let's get into the guts of the program. So that's our process. What I have right here is crude oil today. Okay. So uh, crude oil today, we have a nine Simrinko. I want to show you. This is a nine Simrinko. This is a larger Rinko bar that I use. This is called my trend chart. Now, the trend chart, okay, all my traders know I like to use the trend chart to what? To find the overall trend to take my motive wave trades, meaning I like to go with trend retracement with trend. The next chart is a much smaller chart. This is the smallest chart that I would go down to. I would not go down further below a three sim Rinko. You can see I'm a three right there. So I'm a three right there. There's a three. And right beside that is a nine. I want to make sure we're clear about this because it's a very important concept I'm going to be going over for you. This is a larger time frame. Your stops are going to be larger on a larger time frame if you go off signals by this by itself. If you go down to a smaller time frame, your stops are going to be smaller. Okay? Why? Because I'm using a larger Rinko bar, the bars are going to be longer. The high and low is going to be, there's going to be more of a spread. Where the smaller Rinko bars, the spread between the high and low is going to be smaller. So you're going to have a smaller stop. So if a stop is two ticks above the swing high or swing low, okay, for the algo, and you are using a nine Simrinko, it's going to be from that. Give me why. I want to take this slow so we get this for the next 15 minutes, and then we'll close this out. I'm going to show you how this thing works. Or, or, or do it. Everybody understand that, right? If we trade, if we trade an auto trade, or if we trade these automated entries, we know that we're getting a larger stop off of a larger versus a smaller Renko bar. Okay. Make sure we understand that. So now that we know that. The neat thing about this is, is that this can catch pretty much all retracements with trend. I mean, this thing is notorious on uh, gasoline today and on heating oil and also crude and also um, gold too. It caught a lot of big trends like this. Okay, so this is this is today all this is a whole trading day, July 18th, all the way from midnight, all the signals all the way to the close. So it was one, two, three, four for four accuracy just upon today's trading off of the trend. Now, the thing about the trend chart is this, is that here's how you can utilize it using a smaller time frame also. If I'm in a downtrend, which I've been in a downtrend ever since this morning at this level. This is when the first sell signal came up on my trend chart. This, oh, by the way, this automatically comes up right at the post of the bar. Once that bar closes, that came up right there, right at 7.34 and uh, 7.34 and 17 seconds. That posted that short to 57.32. That will pop up on your screen that the algorithm uh, uh, said that, 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 that there's a high probability short in crude at that level. All right, so knowing that level, knowing that we're in a downtrend, what you can do is you can see we had all short signals off the trend chart today. We had one, two, three, four short signals. So if I go over here at 7.30 in the morning, I mean at 8 o'clock, sorry, when you start trading, I tell traders to start looking at this stuff at 7.45 or so. Do you think it's really smart to take this algo long at 57.14? At 57.14, when this market already said that we at 7.34 on the big time frame, that the algo stand a possible short. Would it be smart to look in a shorter time frame for a buy signal? Yes or no? Anybody? Wouldn't be very advantageous to your profit margins, right? So what you'd want to do then is you want to look for short setups. So here's the first short setup. This is a three sim Renko. See the three sim Renko? That's the three sim Renko. Now, let me tell you why that this helps traders out. The cool thing is, is that when I get this in your hands over the next month or so, you, you members, you can back test this all you want, but you can use different trails. My trail may not be the exact trail you want to see. You can see I got stopped out within one tick and then it kept going. You know, I'm using, I'm using a 34 tick trail on this. You know, if you did a 40 tick trail, it would have kept it short the whole way, you know, 
but I have it a little bit tight right there. My point is, is that am I saying my parameters are perfect, what I'm showing you right now? You may have better parameters. And that's why no one person will have the same auto entries because what's going to happen is, is that you're going to have different trails. The entry is pretty much, uh, um, if you use the same time frame, we're going to be close. But different trails, different profit targets. In other words, it's going to keep the markets more liquid for all of us. So my point is, is that this short that came up at 8.59 is a valid short. Why? Because I'm using a longer time frame with the auto entry with a shorter time frame. So as I move forward, if I had these two charts beside each other, and this was out even looking at my live charts, I know that I'm in a downtrend already. I'm in a deep down. I've been in a hard downtrend since um, midnight all day. If you bought any crude long, you were wrong. You deserve to get stopped out. And so you can see that if you if you wanted to, you could just trade off this by itself. So let's say you just want to trade off this chart by itself. Well, if you trade off this by yourself, you have to realize your stops are going to be two ticks above that swing high. And you can even do one tick or uh, the algo will tell you how the percentage is. And I'll show you in a second. But the bottom line is, is that you know by back testing and by forward testing that you got to at least keep it above at least one tick or two ticks above the swing high to let it breathe. Well, if you trade just off this long-term chart, it's going to be larger stops. Well, not over here in the three sim. Because if I look at the three sim, let's take a look at your entry. Watch. If I enter this trade, and there's the high of the market right there. Well, here's, here's my entry. 56.87. It said it goes short. 56.87. Let me look at the high of the market. The high of the market was 56.92. 92 minus 87. You got five ticks. Five ticks plus two. That's a seven tick stop as far as that goes. If you got in right at 87. Now, these are limit orders that come in, by the way. They're not market orders. So you're not, even if you pull the trigger right away, you're not going to get exactly 87. Not unless you backfill it, put a limit order in right at what some traders will will do. And what, what I like to do too is that you can put a limit order right in at 87 if it shows 87 to try to get filled the exact level that that level is. You can't do that. But my point is, is that you see the difference in small stops because your stop is two ticks above the swing high. So this is how you can utilize a system because if it shows 56.87, you know we're in a hard downtrend. The algo has picked a nice retracement right there to short at 87. So let's say you get short at 85. 85, the high of the market is 92, 92 plus 2 is 94. That's still a 9 tick stop. So you're risking 90 bucks on this trade. Now, I got 15 tick first target on both this left chart and the right chart. I got a 15 tick first target. I got a 200 tick second target. And I got a 34 tick trail. That's what I'm showing you right now. I'm just telling you what I'm showing you. Do you have to use that exact parameters? No. Some of you guys want a 12 tick first target. It'll help increase your, increase your probability, right? Or some of you may want to use an 8 first target. But an 8 tick first target, you're probably not going to get a runner like this because it's going to backfill back up and knock you back out, as we know. That's where this number two is going to help you out. It's going to say, hey, I'm going to see how much your first target needs to be to make the market breathe for you to get a runner. And that's how it's going to help to have it in your own hands, doing the back testing and forward testing with this algo. Because I pretty much know that for crude oil, I've got to have at least around a 12 tick first target to 12 to 15 first target if I'm one, a consistent runner. If I get an 8 tick first target, you're probably going to get stopped out a lot. I'd rather have a runner to run, okay? And I'll show you the accuracy of doing a 15 first target, 200 tick second target, 34 tick trail in a second with a 2 tick stop above the swing high. So as we move forward, so let's, let's just move forward. So I know I'm in a downtrend, right? So you don't want to take buy signals off a smaller time frame like this. Let's just move forward. All right, so as we move forward, what you can do, let's say that you're using this algo to help you with your exits too. It works really good because if you, you find a good trail like this on the 9 sim, it told you to keep short from 56.78 all the way down to 55.37. I mean, that's, that's a pretty decent uh, stake right there. 55.78, it didn't tell you to really get out until 55.37. 
So it really gave you a nice little uh, $1,400 move just trading off the 9 sim uh, by itself. But if you want less risk, you can trade off a smaller time, time frame with overall trend direction on the 9. So here you have a $90, $90 risk and you're short 87, the first target out at 72, 15 ticks. And the trail kept you in all the way down to 56.03. And that's just one tick. If you, if you want to loosen your stop up a little bit larger, you can. That'll, that'll help you in. And it kept going. But it tells you to get short again on an M top. Once again, you can see what we're doing here. What we're doing is we're going with the trend of the market. Once again, 56.03, 15 ticks off. And you see what we're trying to do. We don't want to take any longs. The algo is trying to keep you in the trend. 56.03 keeps you in the trend with the 30, 34 tick trail. That's like 34. You can widen if you want. But then again, that's a $700 potential trade right there if you hold it to the next target. So what you can do as a trader is you can use, you can scale. And if you see the algo, since you know that you already back tested the trail over the past year. And here's how you got to think like this. If I know I back tested the trail and the trail is supposed to keep me in 75 or whatever percent of the time, then I know the trail is good. Then I know if I scale, then if I got one runner left or one, one car left or two cars left, I can pretty much let her run until my trail gets me out. That's how it helps you out. That's how the trail helps you out. All right. So then we come back into it again and it gets back into a counter, a counter wave up. Now this is at 12, 12 and some change. Is this counter wave productive? No. You see your big time frame is still suggesting what? Southbound on the Greyhound. So then what you can do is you can look at getting back short, which it does. It got back short over here going into the close. But you can use a smaller time frame with the larger time frame is what I'm telling you. Okay? You don't have to do that. No. You don't have to do that, Steve. I'm just, the reason for the algo is to help with your entries. What it's telling you is this. It's telling you that I've got these setups right here, right? I've got all these, the list of three sim today. It's telling you that this is a possible major retracement. Look at these highs on these retracements. That's the highest point on a retracement. Caught it perfectly. That's the highest point on a retracement. Caught it perfectly. That's the highest point in retracement. Caught it perfectly. This V top up there, the 9 sim caught it. So what the algo is trying to do, it's trying to, it's trying to get you in at retracement levels. Do you have to hold it all the way down until this specific trail? No. It's just giving you levels where there should be a momentum setup or a um, – retracement setup okay that's what it's educating you for so if I blow this up and I look at I look at yesterday too we'll look at yesterday too we'll just blow this down a little bit so let's look at two days worth of data on the nine cent that's eight where's eight o'clock there we go so there's two days worth of data get this stuff off here So this is a huge inflection point at 7.30. Now I want you to look, just take a look at what the algo is trying to do. Is this a great swing high? Nailed it. Great swing high? Got it. Got it. Right? So it's trying to catch the swings for you. And normally, if you just, this is what the live room charts, my live room charts have always done. But some traders just are not focused in on putting everything together. Everything's moving too fast. Market profile is moving too fast. Market delta, all this stuff. So you can see what the, what the program tries to do the last two days is trying to position yourself. Here's a beautiful short up here. Oops. It's trying to position yourself on a wave, retracement wave. And that's how why I like to use a trend chart. Because the trend chart, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 possible uh, retracements just off of this 9 Simrenko. But 
the point is, is that you can use this, and when the trend chart says this morning at 7.30, at 57.32, um, what I like is this, is that, uh, is that I, like, I like reward to risk. I've always preached about this ever since we opened the trading room. The cool thing with getting this in your own hands, right, is that you can say, hey, I want to target one of, uh, and now this is the same target. This is on heating oil. Target one, 15 ticks. Trail, 34 ticks. Uh, target two is 200 ticks. Uh, stop, I believe, is three, uh, this one was three ticks above the swing high, I believe. So the bottom line is this, is I can see right now my reward to risk. Largest winner, 840. Largest loser, uh, buck 51. You know, so it lets me know reward to risk. And, and, and also the time of day to trade this thing. I know if I'm trading heating oil, and this is Eastern Standard Time, do I really, really want to start trading it at 6 a.m. in the morning? No. 7 a.m. in the morning? No. 8 a.m. in the morning? No. 9 a.m. to 11? Sweet spot. Right in here. So if I look at 9 a.m., this is uh, our data. If I look at 9 a.m. and 10 a.m., if I just click, click on this, um, you know, we're looking at 83, almost 87 or 84% accuracy. If I look at uh, right there, 80% accuracy around 11 to, to, to 12. So that's how it really helps you out because you can back test this and forward test it over the past year on any type of Rinko bar you want. Some traders want to use a longer term Rinko bar. I have traders that will want to go all the way to a 15 sim Rinko bar. You're probably like, wow, that's a really long time frame. Not necessarily if you position trade because it's still going to get you on a retracement just with a lot with less bars. Okay, a three sim gets you more bars. So that's the one thing that's, that, that's neat about it is you can, you can utilize this in several ways. There's so many different uh, options. You, you can get a summary on uh, your largest winner, largest loser, uh, slippage, all that stuff. This is all at your disposable, disposal of using this on your own system. That is what's nice about why I'm releasing this to everybody who leases a system. And I'm not charging you a dime for it because I want you to feel comfortable knowing where your first target is, second target, and if these retracement trades are as accurate as we see every day in the room. Now you can do it. And you can also put your time frame. The algo I have set up, you can actually put your time frame of when you want this to show up uh, on your time frame. Like I can go half hour days and show it half hour. We know at 1030 on, on heating oil, 85% accuracy according to using that, and this is a 9 sim Rinko on heating oil, 9 sim Rinko, my, my trend chart, that's the most profitable time over the past, now this is the past month, by the way, this is 30, uh, count, uh, 30 trading days, this is the past 30 trading days, you know, that is your peak time where you really want to focus in that 10.30 to 11 o'clock range, uh, but that's how getting this in your own hands will help you bring this to another level because you can test all these results and then you you know if you got a high accuracy on your trend chart then you know your smaller time frames got a small and, and a small um, small stop the way it is they can go with your trend chart entries does that make sense that's everybody does that make sense so that's the process we're doing. And um, like I said, we're going to get this out to everybody that has leased the program. Gerald's going to start coding this thing to, to lock it. And so you can start back testing all these results right away. You can start letting I am going to start showing this in the, in, in the room. It loads on any chart. Yep. On any chart. It doesn't matter. Hey, yes. Steve, you don't need to use my Rinko bars. You don't need to use my Rinko bars. You do not need to use my Rinko bars. But the Rinko bars are what, there's a trend filter built in my Rinko bars. That separates itself from a standard Rinko, from a minute chart, and so on. Yes, what it will do is it's looking for momentum and retracement trades only. So I'll show you how to do it. It will not look for corrective waves. It will not look for counter trend trades. It does not look for counter trend trades. 
No, this is all Ninja Trader Eight, Charles. They're gonna be making us. They're, they're gonna be making everybody move from Ninja Trader Seven. Anyway, this is all NT Eight. We have no Ninja Trader Seven. No, no worries, man. But like I said, first step. I'll show in the room off my larger time frame. So in other words, if I look at this, watch. Let, let, let me explain this a little bit before we get off here. Let's, let's put this in live room. This is, a, this is a live setup. Watch. All right, if this is my chart right here, here's my trend chart in the live room. What a lot of you guys traders have been trading off is this live chart right there. Okay? We had a big short this morning when you guys were in the room this morning. All right, so this is what we were using in the live room today. Get this over here a little bit. Ah. Let me show you the difference, how the algo helps you out. It helps traders out immensely. So let's look at the whole trading session. So there's, the, there's that, and here's the whole trading session. Okay, so this is my trend chart. Does everybody see the correlation, what we're doing here? Because the trend chart caught, where was it? Caught that high, right? Where was it? 40? That height right got short right there. So it got short here. The algo got short here. The algo got short here and here off this time frame. Now, isn't it much easier to see the entries on the right side or the left side? Does that make sense why I came out with this? Isn't it much easier to see the entries on the right side or the left side? Right? Because you were thinking this thing was in an uptrend right here hitting the 40 level. So it just it's going to educate you what we've always we've always done the same exact thing. What it's doing is it's helping you realize where the potential entries are to help you out as a trader. It's an educational tool. That's what it is. It's an educational tool to say, hey. This is a high probability trade. But I'm going to take it a step further for you, though. Now you can actually back test the thing, and don't take my word for it. Don't listen to me. Just ask my wife. My wife says never listen to me, right? <laughs> so don't listen to me. Don't listen to Gerald. You got the tools in front of you to actually look at market data. I'm giving you the back testing, forward testing tools, and to forward test it and say, hey, don't take my word for it. Here it is. Go to work. You want to you want to you want a smaller smaller target one? Put it in there. See we'll see what it's done the last year. You want a smaller target two? You want a wider stop? Hey, I want to trade a larger time frame. In other words, if I go to a larger time frame, watch. If I go here, I got traders that trade this. I got traders that will trade a fifteen a fifteen um a fifteen Simreco. Guess where it got short? It got short there. It got short there. It got short there. It got short there. And it got short here. All right? Or they'll come down and they'll go into a threesome, way smaller time frame. And they want smaller stops. So if we go smaller stops, where to get short? I showed you here this morning. Where did it get short? It got short here. Remember the W, I mean the M top? Got short there. Got short there. Got short there. Got short there. You see my point is, it's trying to, it got this M top over here too. It's trying to sell the retracements. What this is trying to do is, it's trying to let you what I've been trying to teach traders over the years and it get it puts it all into a signal for you. You know, listen, is this the is this the holy grail of all holy grails? There's never a holy grail, guys and gals. I'm just trying to give you high probability setups that is easy to see. Bottom line. It's a great educational piece of software saying, hey, here they are. Here's the levels right here today, the last last two days, last three days. Here's high inflection points where you should be looking at going short the market. 
and you can take it from there. Okay? Make sense? But it works on all markets, by the way, too. So like I said, I'll be showing it on the only the large time frame here next week for all week, Monday through Friday on crude and gold. Uh, then um, we will get this out to all leasees of the room. And hey, this now you got your back testing that you always wanted. You know, how can I bring this to the another level? And then you can see how accurate the number one, I mean the retracement uh, setup is and the momentum setup. You know, and then hey. If you want to turn this thing in and you say, hey, I'm doing really well, you know, and I'm going to do my due diligence too. Is it, I'm going to do my due diligence and I want to see profitable traders. I want to see profitable traders if, if everybody's doing well with the signals and I, I see everybody's doing well, then they can move on to number three. We're just not going to let traders come off the street when these members have been waiting for something like this for a long, long time. Not going to happen. I'm not going to have somebody come in and off the street that's never even been associated with our room and say, hey, I want to auto trade, let's go to work. Not going to happen. You know, we're going to make sure that we are doing our due diligence and making sure they understand why the market is doing what it's doing. Why are these signals coming up? These conference calls on to go over and over why a retracement momentum setup, it should fire a signal there. How we can limit our risk. And then you can take it from there. You can back test the hell out of this thing, and you can uh, say, hey, I want this different target. I don't like Jay, how he does his trail. I want a different trail. I don't like his target one. I like target two is more accurate. Listen, the accuracy, I'm not saying my accuracy is perfect. You may come up with something better. You know, I'm just telling you what I've come up with, but do I have every single ingredient out there, the right target one, the right target two, the right trail? Absolutely not. You know, will some of you out there come up with something better? You probably will. You know, but that's that's what back testing's about and forward testing and using the signals. You know, you may like a time frame that, you know, that some of you may trade a different time frame that none of us trade. You know, like an eight, uh, I know that a couple traders trade the Dow on an eight Simrinko and the signals are excellent at eight Simrinko. Maybe they that's all they want to trade. You know, or I got some traders like love, love, love the NASDAQ and it works great on the, seven Simrico and they want to do that so this gives you capability of not just trying to mark the trades up by yourself it's gonna say hey this is where it likes to take look looking for a setup all right and that is what we're gonna to try to bring you guys and we finally got to a point where we're ready to move forward with this and we're pretty excited for all you guys and gals to take this to another level and for you traders that know how to trade my system already and you know who you are, you know, this is like, it, it, this is icing on a cake for you because you know why it's taking a trade. You know, you know why it's a number one. You know why, I mean, you know why it's a retracement setup or a momentum setup or you know why it's a, it's, it's, it's a, mo a motive wave. And something else we are doing and these are for the longer term members who have been in the room with us from here on out. We are having traders test this. Uh, also, just not my word for it. Um, uh, when they're ready to move to number three of the full auto, uh, we will have live members in the room actually testing this and giving Gerald and I feedback to make it even more robust on the trail and everything. So this is not just saying, hey, you know, the three, when we're ready to move to three and, and, and traders are ready to move to three, we have a group already established that's going to implement it. And uh, so then when others are ready to get to that level, she'll be ready to go. Okay. Yeah, Jules, there's all kinds of bells and whistles. I, there's so many bells and whistles to it. It's, it it's, it's pretty neat. I mean, the best thing is when I get it out to you, you just play with it. It's, it's got a lot of bells and whistles to it. Yep. I've blown through quite a few uh, computers perfecting this thing, so I've actually wiped out, literally wiped out computers just running 24 hours a day on data, and uh, we, we come up with a really nice little uh, system here, so. All right, any other questions? So, hey, feel free to uh, stay in the room. Um, I will be showing the longer-term um, swings 
next week. We're going to plan, and Gerald can mark this down too, every two weeks we're going to have a conference call as we move through these steps. So every two weeks going forward. So uh, the next one will be uh, Thursday. 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 Let's see, Thursday. I'll see, Gerald, is Wednesdays better for you? We'll, we'll find out what Gerald likes to do. Let's see here. Wednesday or Thursday, we'll let you know, and then Gerald will get with them. But I want to have it every two or three weeks, and then um, that way, when you guys get this in your hand, I'm actually going to show you how to do back testing. In other words, I'm going to show you how to take this. Show you real quick before we get off. So I'm going to I'm going to show you how to take uh, uh, the analyzer. And then we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you exactly how how to do all the parameters and so on, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to work it also. So what we'll do for the leases of the program, I'm gonna actually show you how to. Um, so whoever leases the program, we're gonna have private. It's not for the public. It's just for those who lease. We're gonna have private get-togethers um, once in a while too, and I'm gonna actually show you how to back test and forward test and to find the optimal settings that you want to do for your risk level. And we will be doing that once I get uh, this, uh, Gerald gets this out to everybody that are leasing the program, um, we will have conference calls so you don't have to pick your, pick your brain and say, hey man, how do I even do this? You know, it's very simple and it's pretty neat. Uh, it's pretty fast and uh, you get results back, even uh, going a whole, a whole year back. I mean, it's it's so robust, it's crazy. It's not like Ninja Seven, when you back tested something and you had to download all the different um, months, the different months of expiration. That's a pain in the tush. Now it's just like plug it in and it's ready to go, and it gives you a, a really nice back test on whatever you want to get. Uh, as many as you would like, Tina. I mean, there, I'm not going to limit you to anything. I'm not going to limit you guys to anything. I mean, this is going to be in your hands. Yep, not fun, Charles. All right, sounds good. Yeah, Ninja Trader, uh, Russ, um, a lot of traders are through um, Dorman, um, which uh, Ninja Trader has a couple couple of them, I believe. Uh, majority of them are through Dorman, I believe. All right, sounds good. <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll do the um, uh, next week. We'll show these uh, signals, and then I'll be in the room tomorrow at 15, going over our regular charts. You guys are more than helping to stay, more than happy to stay around. For you, for those of you guys who stick stuck around and saw the conference call, uh, feel free to hang out with us next week uh, on us, and just to watch the signals. And um, I'll be in, uh, like I said, Wednesday through Friday next week, 8:15. Uh, to right around 10, 10.30 sometimes, uh, sometimes earlier. It just depends on the uh, price action. Um, feel free to hang out with us next week and um, or hang out tomorrow too. I'll be in here tomorrow at 8.15 a.m. Eastern. All right. And like I said, what we'll do is we'll get this coded, start coding it for all you members, um, and we'll get step two out to you. Step two is the back testing, and then we'll have a conference call on that in a few weeks. And I'll tell you how you can uh, start uh, taking that to the next level. All right. All right. Sounds good. Everybody have a good evening. And I will talk to everybody soon. Hey, any questions anybody has, um, you just email me here. DayChainFutures.com. If you if you want information about the software uh, and about uh, pricing and all that stuff and tech issues, email Gerald at DayTradingTheFutures.com. He handles all the back office, all the pricing. Um, the longer lease you have, the lower cost of business there is. So there you go.
All right. Any other questions? All right. We'll see you guys. And what I'll do too, uh, if this is something on the back of your head down the road and something you, you want to look at down the road, implement. We will be, I'm sure you're on our mailing list. Um, Gerald will send out charts, uh, you know, as we move forward through this progression that we're going through and um, making sure you guys are good to go. But I will get the, the first thing on order is getting this coded so everybody has this on their own system to start back testing. All right.